All right, folks, today I'm gonna to teach you how to download and install Half-Life Advanced Effects and then use its slightly altered screen recording feature to record high quality CS2 clips. Let's go to advancedfx.org, okay? You're gonna to go to download and you're gonna click on this top link right here. What I want you to do is I want you to click on Half-Life Advanced Effects setup.exe. That's the easiest way to install all the necessary files that you need. So what I want you to do is I want you to run it, all right? You might get this screen pop up and that's okay, okay? That's Windows doing its job. Half-Life Advanced Effects is sort of like a hack for CS, okay? It works in the same way as a hack and your Windows is actually gonna detect it as a false positive, okay? It, it thinks it's a virus, it's not, all right? so. Just go ahead and run anyway. All right, cool. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna click install. Okay, cool, after it goes through a couple checks to see if FFmpeg is installed on your computer, you wanna click next. Now, you're gonna to wanna to be using the typical installation, okay? Okay, cool, so this screen is gonna basically help you install FFmpeg in the right folder, so you don't have to worry about doing it manually, okay? It'll automatically choose the latest build of FFmpeg. I'm gonna keep reinstall FFmpeg click because I think I have an older build from 2023. Okay, cool, so click next. Click install and it will go through the installation process. Okay, cool. After it goes through that bit of a lengthy process of installing, just go ahead and click finish once it prompts you and you are done. Now it's gonna install itself in C drive, okay? And it's gonna be in the program files x86 folder, okay? And then you're gonna go down to Half-Life Advanced Effects, click that and then go ahead and double click. Let's set it up for CS2, okay? Go to tools. Go to Developer, Custom Loader. All right, go to Browse. So the program path for CS2, it's gonna be in your program files, x86. Go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, Bin, Win64, and it's gonna be right here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna hook into Counter-Strike 2 with Half-Life Defense Facts. In order to do that, you wanna come down to here, DLLs to Inject, go to Browse. And for this, you wanna to go to Program Files, go to Half-Life Defense Facts, and you wanna to go to X64 and you're gonna click AFX hook source 2.dll. All right, cool. Now, you probably don't have to change anything down here, so don't worry about any of that. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, cool. So we're in game. Let's put in a few commands and let's start recording, all right? First command, Merv streams record start movie wave one, okay? This will basically let you record audio. All right, super important command if we want audio. Next command, Merv streams record name, okay? And now what you wanna do is you wanna put in a file path, okay? Where do you want your stuff to record to? So I'm going to just put it in my C drive and I'm going to have Half-Life Events Effects create a folder called Merv for me. You can put anything there. You can say um, video files, or if you don't wanna put in your C drive, maybe put in your D drive and we'll call this CS2 movie making, whatever. Do whatever you want. Let's just do that. That sounds great. Here's a different command that CSGO movie makers might not know about, okay? The next command we want is Merv streams record screen enabled one. That's gonna activate the ability to record CS2 clips, okay? Without this, it won't work, all right? Cool, important command, go ahead and put that in next. All right, next command, we wanna use FFmpeg to record these clips straight to AVI, so we don't have to deal with TGAs, right? And that's the Merv streams record screen settings, okay? Right now we have a default of AFX default. Now what if we don't wanna use AFX default, right? AFX default is set to AFX classic and the AFX classic is TGA sequences. We don't want TGA sequences, we want AVIs, right? Well, let's actually type in Merv streams settings and let's type print. And as you can see, there's a bunch of these already baked in profiles that we can choose from. And I want I want the best one, right? Let's let's use AFX FFmpeg lossless best. We now want to type in Merv streams record screen settings, and we're gonna set it to AFX FFmpeg lossless best. All right, now you're probably wondering, how do I set the FPS to my clip? Well, it used to be host frame rate, not anymore. With this new way, we're gonna use a command called Merv Streams Record FPS, okay? And now you can put in whatever you want. Let's, um, let's just go with the basic 600. The next thing and the last thing that you wanna do is you wanna type in Merv Streams Record Start. Unpause the demo and now it's recording. Now, what if we wanna stop recording, right? Part of my console is freaking out right now, but you can ignore these. We type in Merv Streams Record end. That's it. That's all it took. 
Let's take a look to see if it actually recorded. Now, as you can see, I'm in my C drive and look, there's a folder called CS2 Movie Making. That's the folder we created when we set the record path, right? And look, there's a take in there. All right, it looks like we have audio and looks like we have video and it looks like it was recorded at 600 FPS, okay? Awesome. All right, cool. That's all it takes to record high quality CS2 clips. Now, go forth, make some awesome CS2 movies and I can't wait to see them.